For today's art activity, we are using the Sketchpad program, so type in the URL and navigate to it on a web browser. Click the plus sign to create a new paper. We want to make sure that we are using a paper that will be orientated horizontally across of our screen. So I'm going to choose this one right here that says 1280 by 800. So that's the size that I want for my picture. Press create. I'm going to go to the magnifying glass and I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out so I can see my entire paper all at the same time. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to the tools. This one right here is the tools. I just have to switch to the paintbrush. Once I have done that, I'm going to make sure it's set to black and that it says paint in layer and the size. I'm going to put it right about 20 and I'm going to make sure that there is zero blur on my line. I'm going to start by drawing the horizontal line across my paper. This is called the horizon line, where the sky and the ground meet together. Next, I'm going to add water lines in the bottom half of my picture. And in the top half of my picture, I'm going to draw a semicircle and then some radiating diagonal lines from that semicircle for the sunset. I'm going to navigate over to the paint bucket and I want to make sure it says pixel fill and I want to switch to just regular colors and I'm going to choose warm colors and cool colors for the different parts of my picture. I'm going to start with the cool, the warm colors rather for the sunset. These are going to be the yellows, oranges, and reds. I'm going to just tap the space and it should fill in with the paint bucket tool. That looks good. Now I'm going to use the cool colors for the water. The water colors are going to be cool colors and these are your blues, your greens, and your purples. If you don't want to use green and purple for the water, that's fine. Just pick two different kinds of blues so that way it has a little bit of variety. Now I'm going back to my paintbrush and I'm going to use my paintbrush to add patterns of details for my picture. I'm going to get a warm color to add warm patterns to my sky. If I tap it just one time or click it just one time, it makes a polka dot. So I'm going to add polka dots to some of my sections. In other spaces, I may decide to add stripes. It is up to you how you want to decorate your art. Be creative with it and add all kinds of different patterns. Just make sure that the patterns that you create in the sky are all warm colors and the ones that you add in the water, you are using cool colors. We want to make sure we are using our warm colors and our cool colors correctly. Once you have finished adding all of your extra details to your work of art, you are completely finished. Double check to make sure you did not miss anything. Then you're going to go over to the left hand side and click the export button. Then you want to click save. You want to make sure it's set to a JPEG and that it is set for 300 DPI. Hit download. Once you have downloaded it and saved it to your computer, you can upload it to Artsonia.